Here we are back at Mo Mod. Let me let you guys check it out. Oh, y'all know I gotta do it. Without further ado, you know I gotta tease y'all. I'm super happy with how it came out. I'm super happy with how everything is looking. So you know the owner of the shop always gotta have something looking crazy. Alright, boys, here we are back at Mo Mods, man. That's right. So you know if we back here, you know what that means. That means that uh the car is ready for pickup so we're gonna be picking up the baby today let me let you guys check it out they're working on some sick projects in the meantime i'm sorry to stall y'all y'all know i gotta do it you know i gotta tease y'all but look at this clean a4 you know nice thing in the place they got all the joints man all the joints but i know what y'all here for i know what y'all want to see so without further ado let's check out what we did to big perp Yeah, boys, that's right. You see it, man. You see it. Big perp looking good with the white stripes. Now, look, a lot of people do stripes, especially basic two stripes going up the car. No, nothing too crazy about that. But, you know, we got to put the special little touch on it. So why white? Well, this shot right here tells you everything you need to know, right? Oh, there's a little reflection on the windshield. So maybe not. But this shot right here should tell you everything that you need to know if you peep the white stripes are diamond cut they're individual diamond cut and then when the windows are down in the car you got the individual diamond cut on the seats so the, it's flipped right because with the seats it's white with purple stitching so it's white and purple with the seats right and then when you come out to the car is this is white the diamonds are white and it's still purple matching the seats exactly so it's just taking the interior and bringing it to the exterior so that you can see both and so that it makes sense so you know the details man it's all in the details now we got some more to do we still got some more we want to do but it takes time man it takes time to get it all dialed in and get it all right but huge shout out to mo Maz. they said that these stripes they will not be selling to the general public because he said they were a pain in his behind to get them laid and to get each individual diamond to stay down so therefore th this is gonna be a one of only of this setup but i guess he could do it if you know i guess if you want to pay that bread i don't know but it's definitely gonna cost you something heavy but anyway i'm super happy with how it came out i'm super happy with how everything is looking we're almost done on the interior we still got a couple little things to do like putting the door handle fully the lock and all that kind of stuff and the next thing that we got to do as well that's still not done yet is adding these big guys right here exhaust tips so we got them done gloss black matching the wheels and we're gonna get them up under there perfectly because right now it's nothing there's no exhaust tips on this car it's just uh the pipes floating in there so we're gonna go ahead and get that finished up man and make it perfect and uh that's gonna be sick but i'm waiting on more miles to come through real quick i'll let him explain to you the painstaking moments that he had doing it because i don't want to take his his shine away he come right now so you know the owner of the shop always gotta have something looking crazy. So Pete, my man. Hey, they go boss man, you know what I'm saying? Boss man, he coming in looking like he just left vacation. I'm the one that came back from vacation. What's How that? difficult was it laying these stripes, brother? So many reasons why it was tough. Starting with the fact that we used Avery Sand Pearl White. The adhesive underneath isn't meant for platter cut like this. So it makes the edges a little bit more harder to work with. You know, but we tackled it down. Um, Overall, the installation was a bit easier because it was Avery, but um, the cutout was not. The first time we actually did it, the diamond pattern was a little bit smaller. Then we had to redo it. 
okay. into this pattern right okay. here that fit a little bit more. Because it's more more yeah. surface area. Yes. So we have to put transfer tape um, after we did the powder cut on the diamond pattern. Yeah. Got and it, then man. we tried to do the pinstripes with sand for a while. You see the two corner, the, yeah. the, the where we did black over here. So and that itself uh, was a bit hard because uh, again adhesive, the Avery adhesive, the Avery glue. So we had to go with the uh, powder cut material. And we did the black pinstripe. I think that gave it the ultimate touch as well. What do you think? Hey man, when I walked up to the car, I was like. Wow, that makes a big difference. You wouldn't think yeah. that something so small would make a big difference. It's always the little things. But it's the it's little, always. it's the little details that make the biggest difference. Always the little things like this. That's what she said. Don't you dare. Like that, you see the way it looks with the lights. Yeah, it looks cool. perfect. With the interior as well. Right, everything. I mean, that's why we did it this way. We did it to bring it all in together. And now, I feel like everything matches. Like the the lights, the everything. Everything is just clean, nice. You know, it's not over the top. So guys, just in full disclaimer, we started this process about weeks ago, right? Because yes. first it was supposed to be that I was going to go away for vacation yes. and I was going to drop it off when I was leaving. I dropped it off when I was leaving. Yes. And uh, now nah, he good, man. He can do whatever he want. You like the car, little man? <laughs> My man. That's your, that's your type of ride, right? It took a what? A couple days? Uh, Once you got started? So because we had to read. It was supposed to be a two, three day thing you know max um but we did uh we had to redo the stripes that was one we also we got these shipped over yeah y'all just hung them for me right and the rear seats yeah 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 yeah. we gonna we gonna we gonna finish it up don't yeah. worry about that that's part of the building process you know what i'm saying nothing is one two especially three especially a build like this where you are yo that guy literally everything. just reached inside and touched on the leather oh, he yeah <laughs> he just reached inside the car bro but listen, another one, brother. We still, I gotta bring it back. Still want to do some more things. I still want to do some yeah. more white accents. Yeah. Uh, we gotta do something with the wheels and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So Definitely. I'll bring it back. Definitely. We'll get all of that stuff done. But I think for round one, we off to a good start. Absolutely. Omar's never brother. disappoints. Thank you. Bro. You know what I'm saying? And we just gonna leave it at. There's a lot of rap shops. So is it quantity that you want or is it quality that you want? Let's just say the rap on my Hellcat is definitely night and day from the wrap on this car. The wrap on this car is decent, it's nice, but there are areas where we gotta fix, tweak, and you know, help. Yeah. Because, Absolutely. you know, maybe they didn't have the experience that Mo has. They, they, the car is wrapped, yeah, it's, it's the wrapped. color, it's, yeah. but the imperfections that most people don't see, I see. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a perfectionist, yep. so thank God you find a way to deal with me. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people can't deal with me. Because I see the littlest of little yeah, yeah, yeah. And this car got a lot of little of little yeah. But it's little. It's nothing big. It's nothing major. A lot of rap cars have it. Like the little issues that this car has. Like little small things. So no disrespect to what Audio Cat did. But Audio Cat is not a rap shop. You know what I'm saying? This is a professional rap installer. That's yeah. all you do. Yeah. The person that did this car, cool. he did everything. He did the interior. He yeah. did the lighting. Yeah. He yeah. installed the wide body. Yeah. He had the car for like three months, bro. Yeah. But you know me, it was too long for me. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm ridiculous, bro. I know. I know that I'm hard to work with. I know I'm hard. But listen, it's only because at the end, at the end result, how do my shit come out, bro? Mm -hmm. My shit always come out flawless, bro. So trust me, every little itty bitty thing that this car has on it that I see that nobody will ever see, everything that this car has on it that nobody will ever see, I'm going to fix because that's just how I am, yo. I'm a perfectionist. But the car itself, freaking fire, bro. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank, thank, thank you, Mo Mods, man. Where can they, where can they here, find you? 155 Passage Street, Hackensack. Or on the Instagram, Mo Mods. Spell that out for them. M-O-E-M-O-D-Z. I love it. But listen, yo, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward. But until the next one, here in Big Perp, man, we out. We out.